So I get told I look like a lot of people. Basically, any black celebrity you can think of, I've been told that I look like. And obviously, I don't have a face that can just change to look like anyone, so why is that? This video today comes to you in two parts. Part one, people that I look like, and part two, why people think that I look like those people. So number one is Richard Iowati. Yeah, I, I get told I look like him all the time, so I, I can kind of see it. Got the hair and the glasses. I'm, I'm, I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay. These are really dirty. You can't even see because of the light. Yeah, I, I mean, Moss from the IT crowd, you know? I, I get it. I don't need these glasses, by the way. These are fake glasses. They just have glass in them. You can see right, right through them. I don't know why I bought them because I actually do need glasses. Yeah, I can see why I look like Richard Iowati, but actually if you look at our faces together, we don't, they have like any shared features. We just literally have the same skin tone. Number two is Justice Smith. Specifically Justice Smith in Jurassic World. No one has ever told me I look like Justice Smith in Detective Pikachu. It's the same thing as Richard Iowati. Yeah, Richard Iowati. I just have a lot of hair and glasses. We don't even look the same. Uh, that's like a, like a six and a half. Corey, is that a 10? Okay, number three is one that really annoys me because it's it's just dumb and wrong. I don't even know the guy's name. It's that guy from Sabrina. Ambrose? Ambrose from Sabrina. I don't look like Ambrose from Sabrina. Not even a little bit. Our skin tone, it's not the same color as skin. Like, I don't have the same hair as him. Not even the same face. He's just, he's much better looking than I am and I'm gonna say that. He looks a lot better than I do, but looks nothing like I do as well. Like, where are you getting this from? I don't see it at all. N not one bit. Now moving on to cartoon characters. These are two in one. They're only gonna count for one because they're cartoons. They look like everyone. Is Miles Morales. This is the same thing again. It's the same pattern as has been going on with the last ones. I just have a lot of hair. My skin is the same color as his. I don't look like Miles Morales at all. Stop saying I look like Miles Morales. If I get a haircut, we wouldn't look alike. And then there's also Bo from She-Ra. Okay, that's fine. I like Bo. Now for the second to last one, which is one that I really don't understand at all. Rami Malek. Rami, Rami Malek. I don't know what race Rami Malek is. I think he's Egyptian of some description. He can play pretty much any race, but I don't think he can play me. I don't know why people think I look like him. And I have the little, the little lips that he's got. I'll, I'll try and look like Rami Malek right now. I'm going from this, this picture, okay? This last one, and this is the last one. I'm actually okay with, because I think I do look like this person just a little bit. It's Keenan Lonsdale. He was the Kid Flash in the Flash TV show, and he was that guy in Love, Simon. I don't know his name. The one that loved Simon. Looking at Keenan Lonsdale, he does look like a much more perfect, refined, movie star version of me. It's like if you took all the features on my face and made them... Made them mwah, mwah, perfect. That's what you would get. You would get Keenan Lonsdale. You can say that I look like Keenan Lonsdale. The rest of them don't dare. So now I'm going to show you some honorable mentions. Just people that either I don't know who they are at all, or I look so little like them that it's not even worth actually mentioning in this video. <laughs> yep. If you're stopping the video here, key point to take away. Stop saying I look like these people. I don't look like these people. Stop saying it. Please, for the love of God, stop saying it. I don't look like them. Stop saying it. So, why are people saying I look like people that I very clearly don't look like? I have an answer for you, and it's not just racism. There's this thing called the cross race effect. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I don't know what I'm asking you. You're a camera. There is this thing called the cross race effect, which is effectively to blame for a lot of this. Simply put, the cross race effect just makes it more difficult for you to discern faces of people of races that you're not used to. Interestingly, it doesn't need to be a race that isn't yours. It can just be one that you're not used to. It sounds weird, but it's actually a documented thing. And it has like real world implications as well. Eyewitness testimonies are really affected by this. So if you're trying to pick someone out of a lineup and they're a different race to you and you're affected by the cross race effect, you are much less likely to choose the right person than if you were choosing someone that is of the same race as you or a race that you are more used to seeing. And that's also kind of what's to blame for people thinking that all K-pop stars look alike. Don't get me wrong, a lot of that is racism. Uh, they don't all look alike. Don't say they all look alike. You're racist if you say that. People finding it difficult to tell them apart is in part due to the cross race effect. And it's just you not being used to people of other races, which is weird. So another thing about it is when you're looking at people's faces, you use two different types of processing to figure out what's happening with 
with all those shapes you see in. You've got holistic processing and featural processing. So featural processing is looking at individual parts of the face and almost uh, processing those separately, uh, whereas holistic processing looks at the face as a whole rather than picking out individual features. It's brain stuff, it's very difficult. Now you use holistic processing more for faces that you're more accustomed to. Bear in mind, I've not said this yet, race isn't really biologically a thing. There's no like biological basis for race. There's just a spectrum of different phenotypes. Phenotypes are what you look like. There's a spectrum of phenotypes that we categorize into race, but ultimately it's more or less biologically meaningless. There's a lot of weird processing stuff that goes on, but basically what happens is when people look at people from a race that they're not used to, they don't necessarily log all of the features as a whole or see them as different from other people of the race. Essentially what's happening is they're looking at people and seeing that these are features that they're not really used to and kind of just making a blanket view of it. That's what their brain is doing because they're not quite as used to that collection of features, which is really weird. So how it comes about is as babies, they're not really being exposed to people of enough races or ethnic groups because babies are really good with faces. Like really young babies prefer faces over other random shapes. Humans are geared towards understanding faces and looking at faces. So am I saying that if this is something that affects you, that you're doomed to be racist for life and you're never going to be able to tell apart Jimin from Jungkook? No, of course not. Because like I said, this is a kind of effect, but the majority of it is still just racism. All you need to do to get around this is to one, be aware of it, and two, expose yourself to more people of different races. It's literally that simple. So if someone is saying, oh, all K-pop bands look alike, they're still racist. Also the effect is basically non-existent if you just show babies people of different races. So I don't know have friends that aren't all your same race. Another thing I don't think I've clearly mentioned yet is that it's not just white people with all other races, obviously, but someone is gonna, someone is gonna think that if I don't say it. It's not just white people looking at other people, it's literally anyone and any other race that they're not really accustomed to. So I'm gonna say it again, even though I've said it lots and lots of times, this isn't an excuse to be racist and say that all people of whatever race look alike. Stop telling me I look like everyone that's remotely black. Just take a second and think, do they actually look alike? Or am I just not really looking at what they actually look like? So yeah, that was that. Um, cool. So if you enjoyed this little delve into psychology, why not check out my podcast? Every week I take a sciencey topic to my friends Luke and Jamp, and we have a bit of a laugh. It's good fun. We're on YouTube now. Yeah, cool. Bye. Jimin, apart from, I don't know another member, I, I'm not into K-pop.